How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to do an unlimited gold bar glitch. And as you guys can see, I am playing as John, so I did lose everything. Spoiler alerts for those of you guys who are still earlier in the game. You can skip the next 10 seconds. After Arthur dies, basically what happens is that we lose most of the stuff I have. But I did manage to keep some of the stuff. You guys know right before Arthur passed away, he handed over his sack to satchel to john and i did kept some gold bars so right now i'll show you guys what i have existing so so I, here are all the jewelry so i didn't i never actually sold any of the jewelries and the gold pieces that i have so it looks like i have five gold bars sitting around right now so the location for this glitch is actually going to be at the braithwitz manor and if you guys play the story mode, I'm sure you guys know this by now. So you have to get to a certain point where this mansion is burned down. And you guys see the body of Catherine Braithwith. She ran into the house after we set the mansion on fire. And the location is actually just to her right. So depends on which side you decide to come in. The location is just to her. Sorry, not right, left. So, wow. Location is just to her left. And you guys can see this little area of you know grass that's overgrown and you guys could probably tell that there is a chest right here if i just put it in a different first person view the chest is right here so you know how the whole story we're actually talking about the goal that they have so this is actually this is probably part of their goal not the full but probably the goal so the first thing you gotta do is make sure you turn off your auto save guys i cannot stress how important this because if you low back into the game the auto save will try to load again so now the first step Come here and discover it says inspect the box you pull out the box so a lot of these glitches are pretty similar to the process and it will say go bar now very important make sure the moment you start grabbing the go bar you push pause and save the game so i'll get take now that's where you when you save the game so with the auto save off you can save the game any slot is fine so i'll save at an empty slot i don't really save in different slots much i see people with like Wow, 20, 30 of them. So yes, save a new slot. And now what you have to do is low back in. Go back. Low. Alright, the last one I save, I think was this one. Yep, it's definitely this one. So now that we are loaded back into the game, you should spawn somewhere near the mansion. I can still see it, actually. This is where I helped that girl deliver the, ladder, uh, the letter from his love of his life. I wonder what happened to them. Alright, I'm just going to run back. Obviously, you can grab the horse if you want. Now, this is probably going to be the more confusing part. So you got to make sure to do every step. But once you do it a couple times, it's not as bad anymore. Now, where is that body? Oh, it's right there. I see it. Okay, so you can't come here and the box, you should still see the box right here. And this time, you can actually take the gold bar. So you take the gold bar. Now, that's the gold bar. This should be number six in my sack. I just want to see. So earlier, you guys saw that I have five. So now I have six. Yep. Okay, so what you have to do now is actually close the box. So this is very where it gets kind of tricky. Close the box. Remember, it was open previously. So unlock and then open it again. And then close one more time. Now, you can walk slightly away from it. And save the game one more time. Save. And then I'll save over my last one. Yes. So obviously, if you guys have done the previous go bar glitch, you can just continuously bend down and grab over and over and over again. But this one doesn't work like that. So that is a huge inconvenience. But with 500 bucks each time, I think it's worth your time. So now reload. Yes. I know it's probably a lot of you guys probably going to hate on this process, but... Like I said, it is 500 bucks each time, and after, you know, you lose everything, it is very, very useful. I technically don't have to do the glitch anymore, because with all the gold that I got, so those jewelry and gold was not from glitches, obviously. Those are the ones that I actually earned, as you guys can say, uh, from playing the game. So now, 
I can sell those if I want, but I just want to show you guys, for those of you guys who might have sold all their stuff, you know, when you're playing as Arthur, you guys could use this gold bar glitch to earn some of the money back. I think it's kind of messed up that they took everything. I know it is how it should be, but they took everything. That's kind of hard. Now, we're just going to get back to the exact location again. You guys will see it. Where is it? A little bit lost here, guys. Okay, let's see. So, oh, there it is. Brace with. Sorry. Wow, this time it spawned me slightly further away. Not that much, but let's go. Okay, back at the mansion. I'm gonna go find her body again. The best indication is use her body. So, it depends on what direction you come in the mansion, it could be kind of confusing. I'm not gonna loot her just out of respect. A burned body? Why would you loot that? You know. And you guys could probably, you guys could probably tell now. I just want to give you guys a first person view. But the gold bar is actually right behind the box now. So this glitch works like this. Now you have to go back and grab the gold bar to a point where it, no, you guys will see. You guys have to twitch around slightly. It might take a couple minutes, I guess you can say, but you can grab the gold bar without opening the box. Come on, let me get it. Do not open, make sure you don't open the go bar. I mean, the box before you grab the go bar. I think I saw it just now, but there it is, guys. Sorry, it took me a little while, but some of you guys will probably have better luck. So you take the go bar, so here's the second one. And this process, you got to make sure you do it. Open the box. Oh, open the box. Even though there's not going to be anything in there, close the box again. And now you save the game. And then reload. Yes, yes. So you can do this over and over and over again. So I'm just going to do this another time just to show you guys that it does work continuously. Come on. Yep. Alright, now let's head back just to show you guys. Let's see. I'm going to pull out the map just one time. Just make sure where I'm... Yep, spot me kind of far away again. But... This, is, this video has been less than, what, 10 minutes? And we have been able to make a thousand dollars. If you guys play online, you guys will know how hard it is to make the money. But this is a story mode, so it shouldn't be that hard. But whatever. You guys will love it anyways, right? Free go. Oh, almost got messed up there. Okay. I should have seven gold bars at the moment. And after I grab this one, I should have number eight. Oh, sorry. Miss the spot a little. Like I said, depends on where you come in. The body is slightly different. Now, grab this. And it's still behind there. So there it is, guys. Unlimited gold bar. You guys can see. You guys can try to grab it as much as you want. And it is it is unlimited. And it's 500 bucks each time. Each gold bar, it is five worth 500 So you guys can basically take it to the fences and sell it. And hopefully that will get you guys back into the game very, very easily with all the nice weapons. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and find this helpful. If you do, please hit that like button to consider subscribing to the channel. It would be a huge, huge help. While you're at it, check out some other videos and I'll see you guys next time.